Hi everyone, it's Angelina from Sparkling Diva and this reading I'm going to do, I'm going to show the cards to you in a minute, okay, so you can choose properly uh, but uh, then I have to get the camera out of the stand, so I'm first going to tell you uh, this reading is on how can you let go of your fear of loving again your fear of opening up, of trusting again, you know, because when you get hurt in love, we are often afraid, we close our hearts, we don't trust anymore, etc, etc. In a way, that comes down to not trusting yourself anymore, not having healthy boundaries, or not trusting your healthy boundaries, or, well, then they're not really healthy, but not trusting your boundaries, or having difficulty to, uh, well, to stand by your boundaries, and in a way that is all to do with um, trusting yourself and loving yourself. But we're going to have a look at what you can do to get over that. And I have an awful lot of cards. I'm not certain if you can actually see that. Here, look at that. It's, I don't know how many cards there are per set. I think at least 15 or something. And why am I doing that? Well, tomorrow is my birthday. Yeah! <laughs> So I'm going to do a, a, a more in-depth reading for you for free. And uh, obviously I'm not going to do a reading tomorrow on Sunday. Uh, for most people it's it's just Mother's Day. Depending on where you live in the world, but over here it is. And uh, it's also my birthday, so my kiddies are going to come over. And hopefully my daughter as well, because she's been living in the United States for uh, four years. So I haven't had her with me for four years and um well it's her own birthday today <laughs> so um she's going to party and the way she parties well that's serious partying so i it could very well be that tomorrow she's not really back to the living so to speak so it's not entirely certain that she's going to come over but i do hope so i really do hope so um, in any case, this is uh, my birthday pressy to you, sharing a, a, a more in-depth reading uh, with you on a topic that I think for many people is important, is an issue, and I hope it's going to be helpful. And, um, well, I'm, um, I'm going to start in a minute. Uh, first, I'm going to show you the sets. So I have to pause it, I get the camera out of the stand so I can show you the three sets that I have. Well, there we are, the three sets, numbers one with a pen, numbers two with a fan brush, number three with the symbol. Tiny little tincture thingy. Why did I go for that? Because I'm an author, so I, well, I don't write, I type, but yeah, putting a keyboard on a set of cards is, is a bit difficult. So that's why I went for the pen. I also paint, so that's why I chose the fan brush. For the numbers two and for the number three, the little symbol thingy, I play drums. Well, it's also a bit difficult to get a, a drum kit on top of the uh, <laughs> on top of the card, so I took the tincture bell, one of them. Right. So make your choice, and if uh, if you're not certain yet, then pause the video. I'm gonna put the camera back. Right. I hope you've been able to make your choice. Also, if you're interested in it, next week. Starting Monday the 14th, I will have a free online challenge for self-love, the key to happiness that you can sign up for still. Um, you can check out the links underneath this video in the description box for my website where you can sign up. It doesn't cost anything. And no, your email will not be used for newsletters. I don't do newsletters. I seriously, as it is, don't believe in them. So if you are interested in um, wanting to come to more love of self, well then sign up, you know, and um, it's it's online, it's in a closed Facebook group, so no one of your Facebook contacts can see it. I will also stick my uh, Facebook uh, page, the link to it, in the description box so you can check that out as well. Uh, of course, you cannot get into that group because it's a closed group, so unless you sign up, you get added to the self-love group, the key to happiness. So, okay. The reading. Uh, let's get into it. Uh, moving the other cards out of the way. The the ones that choose number one with the pen. Let's start out of the way. 
I first went for the uh, the chakra cards. We have a solar plexus. We have the throat chakra. Now um, this is the solar plexus is all to do with um, your self esteem, uh, having healthy boundaries, the way you interact with the with your environment, other people. That's why that boundaries part is in there too. Self esteem, uh, the way you see yourself. Um, it, it is much also about the interaction, really interacting with the, the uh, other people, the world around you. Um, and it's also closely related to the first two chakras. Let's see if there's something more, because I know what it is, but sometimes uh, just some keywords that come up for the... So, uh, ah, there we have it. Uh, intellect, ambition, strength of will personal power, individuality, self-worth, freedom of choice, feeling that you have that, right? The freedom of choice, the inner child, the ego, personality. So, yeah, I can read a whole lot of stuff that is in there that is important, but it's, yeah, like I said, the ability to maintain boundaries, I think that is a very important one. And, of course, self-esteem, the ability to say no to others, which is saying yes to you which is again to do with boundaries having boundaries and standing by them and the, uh, the throat chakra is about how you express yourself uh, your own truth uh, daring to do that being able to do that uh, also being able because of that because you have a, a strong solar plexus then you can also listen to someone else's uh, views and opinions etc etc uh, without getting upset because they differ, because they differ from yours, then you can accept that. Then it doesn't really make you wobble when you have that. So that is um, uh, something that you will have to work on. I feel because otherwise these two cards haven't wouldn't come up. So all these things, and since these are the main chakra cards, um, because each in this deck each chakra uh, has five or six different cards with aspects of that particular chakra uh, then it's that aspect of that chakra if that comes up that needs addressing but in your case the main chakra comes up meaning all the aspects everything to do with these chakras is important not just one aspect is everything to do with that and it, 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 that's big that's huge especially the solar plexus because so much hinges on that on your self-image, the way you see yourself, the way, whether you have boundaries or not, and you know, and that that you can't get here if the first two chakras aren't at least also reasonably stable, right? Because the first chakra is about, uh, yeah, um, feeling safe, having uh, stability, trust, etc., and uh, the second chakra is about relationships, relating, opening up, and yeah it, it it builds up but in any case this this is really important really important and then we have two more chakra cards these are solar plexus chakra cards uh yeah which came up right so there's two aspects that are more important than the rest i suppose the responsibility and self-esteem self-esteem well, of course uh, if you've been hurt real bad or your trust has been betrayed or whatever, then that really affects your self-esteem, your self-worth, how you see yourself, feel about yourself, your self-love, your confidence levels as well. So you need to work on that. You really need to work on that. So you feel worthy again and get more confident and your self-esteem goes up. And also responsibility, one way I think you, you can get there. This is uh, responsibility, self-discipline, empowerment, reliability, fulfillment. I feel that you can get to that a bit more by finding fulfillment in life. So a passion, something you like, something that makes you happy, something that makes you, well, that inspires you. Because that, in, 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 again, will also uh, heal the, the solar plexus chakra. So it's important that you find something that um, makes you happy in that sense, like a hobby or, you know, 
or a sport maybe, something that makes you happy other than what went down or a relationship, a love relationship in general. Also the responsibility, I feel it's also important that you take responsibility for what your part was in what went wrong. You know, and, and that doesn't mean to say you did anything wrong, but even if you have been in a, um, it's just, I'm just using this as an example, I'm not saying you have been in, a, in an abusive relationship, but because this is such a good example, even in an abusive relationship, you had your own part to play in that. Uh, because you you got in that relationship for a reason, you know, because, for instance, because your self-esteem was low, because you didn't love yourself enough, because you didn't dare have boundaries or stand by your boundaries, etc., etc., that is your part of uh, getting in that relationship or staying in that relationship. And many people likely uh, that you know people that have been in an abusive relationship might not like to hear that and it's not ab about blame please don't get me wrong you know it's not about blame there is no blame it's not what I'm talking about either it's just looking from a neutral uh, point of view basically and just look at what your part of it was and without wanting to blame, without feeling guilty, also without blaming the other. I have been in a, an abusive relationship myself and I, I can do that too, you know. I've gotten over that uh, already, thank goodness. <laughs> uh, but I also see that, yeah, I did have my part in that. I didn't set boundaries. I, uh, well, also, I stayed in that relationship for 10 years. I could have left earlier, for instance. Okay, there were other reasons why I didn't do that and why that was difficult, etc., etc. But still, had I really wanted to, I could have done that. You know, so that is my responsibility. So that I feel that is really important. Because if you do, if you are able to do that, take responsibility for your part in it, so that means you're not victimizing yourself anymore. That is a step in the right direction. And it also means that you can forgive yourself. You can come closer to forgiving yourself. And forgiving yourself is, is healing. And it's also a, a step in the right direction to forgive the other person. Because often it, that is difficult. You know, when we've been hurt by someone... Or they betrayed us, maybe even cheated on us, or whatever. You know, when a relationship goes wrong for whatever reason, we often, um, yeah, blame the other the other party. So take responsibility for your role in things without blaming, and um, just your part, right? What your part was in it all, and then you can come to forgiving yourself, and then eventually you can also come to forgiving the other person, and then you're healing. And then your self-esteem will also uh, raise. And, you know, taking responsibility is also speaking the truth, being being honest, being truthful. You know, without blaming yourself. There's no, Like I said, there is no blame. In most cases, there is no blame. I don't believe in that anyway. Um, and then we have some cards from the, which was it, uh, Wisdom of the Hidden Realms. I feel in this situation, um, it's mostly just taking the time the cosmos, creativity, vastness, it's just taking taking the time, allowing time, and, and the rainbow prince, compensation, perseverance. In a way, I, it, the, these two cards make me feel that it is also, again, important to find something that makes you happy other than a relationship. So in that sense, kind of like a, a, a compensation <laughs> And because of, also because of that creativity, find something that uh, brings a little spark of joy to you, you know, and um, well, maybe like a hobby or uh, yeah, like sports, or maybe you like to go for walks outdoors or socialize, anything, just find something that, you know, makes you a bit happier or, well, happier that sounds as if you are not happy at all which doesn't have to be the case, of course, but I hope you get what I mean, you know, find your light again, this rainbow light, your light, find your inner light again, and you can find that by doing things that, oh, make you happy, 
and that are not related to a, a relationship. So there's things basically that you should do regardless of having a relationship or not. Something that matters to you, something that's important to you, that is like a goal or a dream or that you really cannot live without. And I'm not talking about a partner. <laughs> You know, for me, for instance, that is uh, being creative, art, painting, uh, also writing. I'm an author. I am a published author. I can't do without these things. Also, like the, the tarot cards, the card readings, you know. I've done that for, I don't know, 15 years, maybe even longer. I've been busy with reading for myself, for other people. I, I can't do, I can't live without that. That's my passion in life. That keeps me going. That's my light, that's my rainbow, my spark. And you see that light here too. So something like that, something you can't really live without, you know, that, that makes you happy, fulfills you. <clears throat> also the color cards, are just, that, this is interesting, because these colors are almost the same, aren't they, as turquoise and cyan. <clears throat> this means, um, well, aqua could be in there too. Uh, those are the, the colors of, um, well, this says build your self-confidence. <laughs> Again, the solar plexus. Um, become aware of your empathy. But mostly these colors um, have to do with creativity. There we have it again. Creativity. The cosmos. Creativity. <laughs> and all I was talking about just now, also creativity. To me, the rainbows, this is also creative energy. I don't know. I love rainbows. Uh, anyhow, creativity, freedom, personal freedom, creating that freedom as well, so that you have the space to start discovering what your truth is, what you like, how you like it, what makes you happy, what fulfills you. This is very important, you know, finding out who you are, basically. In a fun way, there can be, there can be, it doesn't have to be serious, it can be in a fun way. But this is about, all about creating that personal freedom, so you can do that, you can explore. And find out who you are, and, and what you stand for, what you want out of life, and how you want things to be. Could also be in general, but it can also pertain to relationships, for instance. Thinking about uh, how you want a relationship to be, what you want out of a relationship, what kind of partner you can be or are, uh, what you want from a partner, etc., etc., which again ties into the throat chakra. This is also about sh throat chakra anyway, uh, because that's about expressing your authentic self, your truth, who you really are, finding out about that. Also remember that um, you might... Um, like to use the color blue, which could be like a picture that you stick on your computer's desktop or uh, a blue crystal or whatever, blue and, and sort of breathe that color into your throat chakra. Uh, and it, any, uh, preferably something with different hues of blue, because the throat chakra is a very complex instrument the throat the voice the throat chakra is very complex and it's not just one color of blue it's all he hues and shades and whatever of blue including these cyan and turquoise indigo uh, night blue dark blue light blue pastel blue whatever every kind of blue you can think of you know i have this uh, I, I i usually go for uh, a gradient. You get. You, you often can find these pretty wallpapers online for free, uh, in a in a different in a specific color. And if I feel I need blue, I download one of these uh, wallpapers, stick them on my computer, so I see it a lot during the day. Uh, or you can also find a, a mandala, one of these beautiful, pretty mandalas in the color blue. And they usually have all these different colors of blue in them. And then, you know, then you can look at that and breathe it into your throat. Really absorb it. Just every time you inhale, inhale that color in your throat chakra. That is so healing to do. You can do a similar thing with uh, the, uh, for the solar plexus. Now you go for yellow. All kinds of yellow, you know. Every color of yellow you can think of, lemon yellow, uh, warm yellow, golden yellow, orange yellow, whatever, gold too. 
you can find images for that or get a crystal or anything in that color and do the same thing you can breathe it into your solar plexus then of course that is very healing color therapy is so powerful um okay and i have three tarot cards uh, from the robin wood tarot deck we have the knight of wands the two of pentacles and we have the uh, chariot uh, well, again, the inspiration, the passion, the drive of wanting to do something, something that inspires you, that brings back that passion. And um, I talked about that just now, right? The creativity, finding something that lights that spark in you. And um, in order to find out what it is, if you don't know that, you need to create that space. That what I all I just read about the cyan turquoise cards. Create that space, personal space, so you can find out what it is, and then you can do it. Um, balance. This is balance. The, the two of pentacles. But I also feel like looking at what you have, what you do have. Because you 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 uh, might feel as if you're walking a now I've lost that word again a tightrope. So you know that you don't have stable footing, but you have a lot that helps you to keep your balance. You you've gained a lot. You've learned a lot. You will get there. You will get that. You will get to the other end of that rope and then step off on fertile ground and and you know. But right now you you are still a bit. You're still healing. You you're not there yet. Accept that. That's okay. That's fine. This is also about the discovering. I feel finding out um, what it is that lights your fire. And I'm not talking about relationships, although it could be concerning that as well. But also, yeah, it is also about relationships. What kind of partner, relationship would light your fire, would make you happy. Um, but also, in general, this thing that I talked about, this, this, that you always have, that you couldn't live without. is this passion, this is a hobby, whatever. But it's also about a partner. So I think you really have to spend some time on that without... Um, grieving so to speak without crying over what you've lost but more a neutral thingy and looking really looking at okay now I'm going to sit down and I'm going to think about what it is that I want in a partner what do I want from a relationship do I need that to fill a void if so then find your own passion in life that fills that void uh, because then you shouldn't need that from a partner or a relationship because then you become too dependent on it. So really have a good look at that. What have you got to offer? What do you want a partner to bring you? What do you want a relationship to be like and bring you? Most people don't even ever think about that. They just start a relationship or they just start dating, you know. And they never really, really are aware of what it is that they actually need. In order to be happy. And uh, don't look back too much. You know, you have to sort of analyze for this, to, for this process. But again, like I said, don't, don't be too, um, don't feel sorry for yourself. That sort of thingy. Uh, do it as neutral as you can. Because I feel this card is saying, the chariot is saying that don't look back. You know, you've done enough of that. It's time to move on. And you are analyzing and, and looking at what it is you need and what you want. So you can move on. Not to feel sorry for yourself again. Not to be crying again. Not to feel bad and sad again. You know, you're doing this looking at what you need and want, etc., etc. Because you want to move on. And uh, in a more balanced way. Because there's this yin and yang. There's a yin and yang in here. Here. And also the horses, right? Uh, yin, yang black and white so you want that balance so you really know what it is is if you do this properly this 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 thingy of finding out what it is you want and you need then uh, the horses will go in the same direction and then you will get somewhere 
If you don't know, then that's the balancing, right? On the inside, having that balance. If you don't have that balance, then one horse might go that way and the other might go that way. Well, just imagine what that would do to your cart. <laughs> that's not going to go well, right? That's not going to end well. So you need that balance, which is uh, here. This, this process there that I was just talking about. And if you got that, then you co can go at the speed of light. But it is, I do really feel it's important that you don't look back too much. Not in the way of, oh God, I've lost that and I'm never going to get him back or her back. And uh, I'm never going to get a relationship that was as good as this one, etc, etc. Not that way. Not that way. You don't look back that way. Just, you know, move. it's time to move forward. Find that balance and move forward. Uh, what should you do right now? Uh, nothing. <laughs> uh, in the sense of... Uh, well, it, this, this reminds me very much of this card. This is just creativity, vastness, it's peaceful, the moon is full, you know, it's it's not a card of action really. Not really, even though it's creativity. I don't feel it's a very... Uh, car, uh, not, it's not action. And sometimes there is a lot of action going on when in in moments of peace, right? Like with the egg. Uh, the egg, the, nothing is going on with the egg. But on the inside, a new creature, new life is being created, is growing. So even though it is, there is peace, there is still a lot going on. So, yeah, I hope you get what I mean with that. It is just... Mm, um, and uh, yeah, chill, relax. Don't try to force anything to happen. Don't try to force yourself to heal, because all this stuff from the solar plexus and the throat chakra and the solar yeah and the throat chakra and the personal freedom, etc., etc. That is going to take a bit of time. These are processes, you know, so you have to allow yourself that time. It's um, I get this 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 vision now, like. Uh, don't try to force yourself through a funnel to heal. That's not going to work. That's not going to work. You know, allow yourself the space to feel, to relax, to work through it all, to grow. And, you know, because the egg is there, the new life is coming. It will come. And then if you work through that uh, all... And of course, this 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 stuff is never really done. Okay, we're living, we're growing, we we get hurt, we we you know we get lessons and trials and tribulations, <laughs> and uh, some worse than others. And yeah, you know, and uh, you know even something like a simple stupid example, like someone being rude to us at, uh, in the post office, or someone giving us an evil look in the supermarket, or someone jumping queue in a shop, you know, even that you could consider as affecting you in a way of, you know, your self-esteem maybe even, or making you angry, getting you, it's just, it's just small things, it's bigger things, but that's life, that's part of life, so this, you know, it's in that sense it's never really done, but this is now about the healing and, and recovering from whatever happened to you. If you've done that, most of that work, what will you get then? What awaits you in a relationship? What type of relationship will you get? And I drew a Romance Angels card for that. If you do all that, this is what you will end up with. Wow! <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Wow! So, I hope this resonated with you. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please leave me some feedback. And uh, thank you for watching. And uh, I'll be back again soon with another reading. Just not tomorrow, because then I'm celebrating my birthday. Bye-bye. <laughs> uh, I'm going on with the numbers two. Numbers two, the ones that went for the fan brush. Uh, let's see what we have for you. We have the third eye chakra card. And the grounding, which is a root chakra card. And uh, desires. Now, this is interesting because there's three different chakras and aspects of the of two, of the sacral chakra, of the uh, root chakra. 
and the entire third eye chakra, which is about um, being able to visualize uh, wisdom, of course, having wisdom, and from that wisdom being able to visualize, but also to see the bigger picture, um, uh, to understand both sides of things, and uh, which is to see the bigger picture, right? To basically have a bird's eye view, separate from your ego or your own personal thingy. Um, creative ideas, intuition, enjoy. Also, being able um, to enjoy nature and life. And um, it, if that is not balanced then you lack creativity or and often ideas will not be grounded in reality so then it becomes really difficult or impossible to manifest these ideas and um, then you have a bit of a skewed view of reality that's when it's not balanced so it is important that that is balanced and funny that it it, it is also being to do with being able to enjoy nature because this is also speaking of nature, presence, practicality, stability, uh, grounding. It's important to get grounded. It's important to get grounded. Maybe you are in, uh, your energy is too high up, like in your head, in your uh, third eye chakra maybe even, you know. Uh, and, and, and there's nothing wrong with that, but you do need grounding. You always need solid footing, a foundation. So... I think you really have to take some time to ground yourself, to get grounded. And you can actually do that by going into nature. Because by, by doing that, we, we tend to just ground because we, you know, you're sort of a land. Also, it can be with, uh, try to do that with breathing, breathing deeper into your uh, abdomen, in your lower abdomen. Or if you're into it, you can meditate. But I feel this is really important that you ground. Yeah. So you get out of your head. Your, in your energy is too high in your body. Too high up. And it has to go down. It really has to go down. Um, desires, goals, passion, craving, fulfillment. I actually feel my own energy go up now. It's This is so important for you guys if you chose this. This is really important. Uh, it is good to have desires and goals in life and cravings and passions, etc., etc. But again, it has to be grounded. You have to be grounded. So then it's also the right goals and passions that serve you, that are realistic. That is things that you can then manifest and not some kind of like an illusion almost or chasing after the wrong thing that is not going to make you happy, that is not going to fulfill you. And it, because then you go round in circles, you go round and round in circles, it's not getting you anywhere, and then you get desperate and disappointed again, etc. You really have to ground. You really have to ground. Oh my God, yes. Absolutely. You know, if you're into meditating and visualizing, you can do that. You then know how to do that. Find a meditation on grounding. Do that daily, at least, you know. Uh, if you're not really familiar with that, look up online how you can do that. Like I said, going into nature will help you. Uh, taking time out to feel your body. Anything that is to do with feeling your body. You can even sit and uh, in, in your underwear and uh, take a bottle of body lotion and start uh, rubbing that over your body, uh, all over, your your chest, your back, your legs, especially your legs and your feet, because that's where you ground lower in the body, and completely focus on that, doing that, on touching your body, that also will help you ground and, and get more anchored in your body. Any case, um... I was kind of gone there. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> the next uh, four cards that I have for you. Gosh, this energy, this 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 is really, poof. It's making me dizzy, even unreal. Um, I'm gonna get myself a grounding stone for a bit. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna need that during this reading. Um. 
the fire prince optimism uh, optimism aggression uh, we have uh, the winged wise ones, angelic help and miraculous aid. So you are guided. There is help. Uh, again, you can. I think you you can really tune into your intuition quite well. The uh, the third eye chakra. But in in order to do that without, um, if you really want that to benefit you, you again have to be grounded. You know, there's a, a thing that many people forget. They start focusing. Uh, on the third eye chakra, because they want their intu in intuition to develop, etc. They want to feel things, see things, or know things, etc., etc. But they never ever have done any grounding, <clears throat> and most people are not grounded because we are uh, well because of the way we live and and for because of whatever you know. Most people simply are not really all that grounded, if at all. So if you then start, I always say that if you if you start doing this higher uh, chakra stuff, in, intuiting and, and and things, without grounding, without having to learn to properly ground yourself, so um, then it's like building a skyscraper without a foundation. It's just not going to work. It's going to fall down. It's going to you know move in the wind and it's going to go everywhere. It's not stable. It's it's in, and it's eventually it will just all come tumbling down it's really important but there is help for you angelic help you're surrounded by by spirits and guides so it it it, it, it would help you to tap into your intuition but you have to again it's the grounding is so important for you people because also you have a lot of um yeah this optimism aggression a lot of fire a lot of an awful lot of fire a lot of passion a lot of drive a lot of you're not really quite people, not the kind of people I don't think so anyway. I don't either that or you need this. That is possible. If you are a more um calm person with a very calm energy, then you need a bit more fire. But I I feel with this uh, for most of you that you don't have that calm energy really. Which is okay, you know, no, some people are like that. I am too. I'm also not the kind of person, I, I can do that, I can be calm, but that's not really my basic general energy. But you have to channel that in the right direction again. It's the same thing with the desires. If it's not grounded, if, if it's just um, all over the place, that you want this, you want that, and you want the, or you're focusing on the wrong thing, uh, like the wrong partner, for instance, and, or the wrong relationship, or whatever, because you get so passionate and get carried away, yeah, then you might end up getting hurt over and over and over. So you have to learn to um, channel it and calm down a little bit. So you can channel it in the right direction, and I feel with this, uh, the, we have the, the, these seem to contradict each other completely, and that's what I feel with you guys. There's the lady of the gift, generosity, receiving, withholding is if it's reversed basically, and we have the prison wave, wife wave. I'm not certain. Self sabotage, poverty consciousness. So that's like generosity, and then you feel. Uh, down. You're sorry for yourself. You victimize yourself, or you you sabotage yourself. You can sabotage yourself by doing this, focusing on the wrong thing, completely going for something that doesn't really serve you because you're not tapped in, tuned into your intuition, to your wisdom from your higher, uh, from your your higher. Yeah, well, your inner knowing, your inner guidance, and that happens because you're not grounded. I hope that all makes sense to you. So you go back and forth, you seem to go back and forth, and you have to, that is what you have to change. That is what you have to change, because one one minute or one day or one hour you feel generous re and, and giving, and you're like, are you even able to receive? And then the next minute, day, whatever, you feel like this. You don't feel all that good at all, and that needs to become more stable. It needs to become more stable, so you're not up and down and up and down. Is the, yeah, and and you, the grounding will help you with that as well. It really, really will help you with that. It will help you to channel that energy, that passion, that fire. 
because here there's also this contradiction yeah it says optimism and aggression it's almost like that like one minute you're optimistic and then all of a sudden well this this is looking down and inactive etc but self-sabotage can also have a bit more of an aggressive form like maybe phoning your ex and you know having a good rant or <laughs> you know that is kind of aggressive then right aggressive action you seem to be going back and forth the grounding people if you chose this the grounding like i just said this is basically sums up your entire reading you, you, you're going for stuff that doesn't really serve you because you're passionate and you, you likely fall for something quite easily because you are so also because you are so generous you have a lot to give you're f free you you give freely and you give all you hold nothing back you give it all but it could be that you're going for the wrong thing or you're falling for something or someone too soon prematurely without the wisdom behind it whether it's actually serving you and whether it's actually for your best interest or not and you're going all over the place you're self-sabotaging with that you are what this thing this card says self-sabotage you are self-sabotaging by doing this and you can change that by grounding because then you can tap into your wisdom your inner knowing I feel myself calm down now all of a sudden my body even relaxes all my muscles in my lower body are now relaxing now I'm telling you this this is so important for you guys if you do the grounding then you can tap into your inner wisdom then you can see the bigger picture then you have the intuition then you have the knowledge whether someone or something is good for you then you can also uh, balance this this aggression this fire this passion more so you don't give it all in one go you know then you can channel it you can channel it and then you will get what you want then you will get what you want wow I'm actually impressed myself <laughs> unbelievable um, I can't remember the following order oh, let's go for the tarot cards first yeah this is the same thing I'm, uh, I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time because it's exactly the same thing uh, a lot of fire again once a queen of wands the ace of wands new beginnings passion spark of life etc etc eight of wands which is uh, about manifesting it's fast it's fiery it's it's going to happen really fast but it's also about balance because it's an eight card and eight is an infinity symbol it's also about balance inner balance and again i also feel well this is the fiery energy right this passion this fire this and this so it's in that sense that's why i'm saying it's also similar but also because of that the devil card and this again this is a major arcana card so that is really important that you are going for the wrong thing too easily the wrong person the wrong thing the wrong situation falling for some someone something too soon too deeply too giving too generous and then you're stuck then you basically i'm sorry if i'm going to be rude now for some people but then you basically fuck yourself over because you're self-sabotage because then you do that you are so generous you are so giving because you fall and this was something someone so soon so fast so deeply and then you give it your all but then you attach yourself to that as well and then you cannot let go of it anymore so if then the other party or the situation or whatever doesn't want you anymore spits you out then you are stuck then you have literally fucked yourself over i'm sorry to say it that way i can't tell you any other way because this is the best way to express how deeply that goes how important that is you really seriously sabotage yourself and you have so much to give you really have an awful lot to give i feel that now with this generosity card the lady of the gift you have an awful lot to give you're just giving it to the wrong people at the wrong time or too much of it in one go you have to channel it you have to build it up not give everything in one go too soon you know boundaries have a bit more 
I don't know, it's it's difficult if you are like that, but you have to learn to do that. You have to learn to do that. One thing you could do is um, possibly focus on something else in your life. Make something else in your life really vitally important. Like a hobby. Uh, something that you... I said that with the other group as well. And um, it is important for everyone in life. In, and also in relationships. It's what they say. You know, you always have to keep your own life, your own friends, etc. And that is so true. Because then you never get this. Then you never get that. And... Um, because then you still, even if you then uh, a relationship have a relationship that falls apart on you, then you still have your own things that you love and that make you happy and fulfill you. Even though your heart is broken, then you still, like me, then you still love to play drums, you still like to paint, you still like to do card readings, you still like to, uh, I don't know, go to the gym, uh, whatever. You know, whatever makes you happy, whatever you like. That is something that you should do get Find out what it is and um, make that, because that's you, that's part of you. And you'll never lose that. You know, you can lose a partner, a relationship can fall apart, but you will never lose that thing that makes you happy, that fulfills you, that spark of life, that inspiration, your hobby, your passion, the one thing that you cannot live without, that you would never want to give up. And I'm not talking about a partner. <laughs> something else that can help you to um, avoid in the future uh, that all this stuff happens again that you get stuck that you sabotage yourself by giving too much to a partner you know that's uh, i hope that makes oh sorry no we have more cards <coughs> i thought so was there it just feels complete it already really feels complete. We have two color cards that could help you. Rose, uh, attract love. In general, I feel this in this case is in general because this reading is how can you get over fear of loving again and trusting again. Um, this is more in general. Attract love. Stuff that makes you.